feel free to ask questions and uh, I'm here to, to, to help you guys be better producers in FL Studio so that you can master the software so that it's just you and music. That's the, the main goal and that's what I want for this channel. So we have now a, a, a nice question, which is how does compression work? This is a very, very, um, hmm, how, how, how can I put it? Compression is one of those topics that uh, it's really, really hard to get. It's, um, but when, once you get it, it's very powerful because it's like, it's not like EQ. Uh, when you when you put an EQ and you put a, a, a something, you really listen to it. You can see the what you are doing. Compression sometimes is a little bit more mysterious. Let's say, <laughs> I don't know if that's the correct word, but it's it's more mysterious. It's more uh, hard to understand. But once you do, it's really 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 powerful. So, also we have several types of uh, compressors. They come they come in very shapes, very forms. So it's also the problem of, of the compressors. It's, it's sometimes it's hard to understand because they, they come with a different, different um, configurations or different layouts and stuff or names and stuff like that. So let's try to answer the, um, the, the question of what is compression and how does compression work. So basically compression, it's, uh, let's, let me load here some, some compressors. Let's use uh, the limiter which is also a compressor here. And uh, let's go and use one that I really enjoy from Waves. And this is uh, our compressor. I really enjoy this, this compressor. I think it's very powerful and I use it in every single mix that I do. Okay, let's remove some of this stuff so that we have a better way to show this. Okay, so compression. Uh, as you can see, we have different different uh, shapes of, of compressor, and this is just two. I can I can load a bunch more, and they will be all different. And uh, I, I can actually show you one more that I really enjoy also, which is from Waves too, which is the H Comp. I really also enjoy this plugin, and as you can see, it's it's they all sound they all look different. They all sound different. But um, yeah, so let's go uh, about uh, the, the main uh, knobs that you will find in, or the main parameters that you will find in a compressor. So we have threshold. This is pretty much uh, universal in every single compressor. We have threshold. Uh, we, we might also have, instead of threshold, we might have input and output, but in most cases, uh, you will find a threshold knob. And we can see here threshold, threshold, and threshold. And this is in dBs. I think they all they all are in dBs. And uh, then we have a ratio, as you can see here. We have a ratio. It can go to twenty to one, uh, one to four, or two to one, stuff like that. And uh, here we can see that we also have a ratio. This one goes to fifty to one. And this goes to 0 0.5 to 1. And then we can have here the ratio. This one only goes from 1 to 1 or 50 to 1. So what's what's the difference? This one goes from 1 to 50. This goes from 1 to 50, but also has 0 0.5. And this one goes from, not the knee. This one goes from uh, 1 to 4 to uh, 20 to 1. So what's, what's the difference here? Whenever you have a ratio of with uh, with um, the first value being equal to the second value, this is doing nothing. And then when we have, uh, for instance, two to one, means that we will compress. If we have a ratio of uh, the first number lower than the second number, means that we are talking about expansion, not a compressor. We are talking about the expander. Uh, expand, expander, not a compressor. So this is the, the, the difference here about ratio. And um, I will just stick with compression. So always from one to one or higher. So it could be two to one, three to one, and so on. Uh, but here, as you can see, this can also be used as an expander. So we can also have extra functionality here. But uh, in this case, the H comp only works as a... Um, 
a compressor cannot work as an expander. And um, yeah, next up we have attack and release. As you can see, attack and release, attack and release. And we also have attack and release in this one here. And, uh, and then we have output gain. Here we have an output gain. And here we have also a gain knob that we can put more and less gain to the output. So those will be the uh, main uh, knobs that you will always, not always, but most of the times you will find in a compressor. And those are the most important to understand. So the, the threshold will tell you, uh, okay, let's go back a little bit. What is a compressor? A compressor allows to compress values uh, based on the ratio from a value higher than the threshold. So what does this mean? Let's say that we have a value or an input value of 20 dBs. If I put my threshold to 15 dBs or 17, what will happen is that the volume, the input volume will not be higher than the threshold. So what happens is that since the input volume is not higher than the threshold, nothing will happen in the compressor. What happens, what, what has to happen in order for the compressor to act or to uh, work on the input is that the threshold has to be lower than the input volume. So let's say that we have uh, an input volume of 20 and if we put an uh, input vol uh, threshold of 30, it means that 10 dBs of uh, difference will be between the threshold and the input, which means that uh, the compressor will try to compress the volume above the threshold based on this ratio. If we have a ratio of 1 to 1, it means that the input will be multiplied by this ratio, which means that uh, 1 to 1 is still 1, so it means that the input will not be, or the, 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 the signal will not have any influence, or the compressor will have no influence in the volume of the output signal. Because a one-to-one -one ratio means that um, it's mapping uh, what's the input to the output. But if we put the threshold, for instance, to two-to-one, means that for every dB of uh, volume that goes above the threshold, it will be reduced by a ratio of one, uh, two to one, meaning that for every dB, we will reduce the, the gain in a ratio of two to one. And if we have a really, really strong, um, a really st if we want a really strong ratio, we can just go and put like this and everything that will be above 30 dBs will have a, a gain reduction of 50 to one. So for every dB that we go up, we will reduce it 50 times, which is a very, very strong uh, ratio. And this will have a big impact on the way the sound works. So that's, that's, that's kind of hard to, to visualize, I know, but basically what does, what, what uh, the important thing here is that for every dB that we go above the threshold, it will apply compression or reduction of volume based on the ratio. That's the basic explanation and uh, the technical explanation. Then we have this attack and release knobs, which is a, high, a, la a layer higher of understanding of what compression is. So the basic, things to, the basic thing to understand about compression is that for every dB vo uh, volume, every dB, every, uh, sorry, <laughs> for every dB, of um, uh, volume or yeah for every dB that the volume goes above the threshold it will apply compression based on the ratio that's the basic thing then we have attack and release so how fast will the compressor start applying compression above the threshold how fast will determine the attack will determine how fast it will be so let's say that um, our input volume is uh, 25 dB or minus 25 and the threshold is minus 30. If it takes one, uh, uh, I don't know if I can, I can do it that way. But yeah, let's say that I want a, a, a slower attack of the uh, compressor, meaning that for every dB that goes above the threshold, it will have, uh, it will attack slower. So the, the, the compression will be very slow to 
engage or the compressor will be slower to engage if i want a really sharp a really fast compressor to every single db that goes above the threshold automatically applies the compressor then i want a fast attack so this is the the thing of the attack if i want really catch the 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 every single uh, db that goes above the threshold i put a fast attack if i'm okay with some dbs going above above the threshold without having too much compression i can slow the attack and make it a little bit more more slow to react the same thing goes here for the release but uh, it, it's it's instead of starting of compression it's letting go of compression so let's say that i i want a fast fast attack here so for every db of input here that i have above the threshold it will automatically apply compression but then if the whenever the the compressor starts to or whenever the input goes lower the threshold then the compression uh, uh, then the release will have an impact so if i want to uh, have a um uh, if I want the compressor to release the compression uh, fast, it means that if the, the, the input goes below 30 or minus 30, from this point lower, the compression will be really fast to release. So if the, the input goes to minus 31, then the, the, the compressor will quickly release the, the, the or quickly start stop uh, compressing the volume. And if I want a slower compression, means that after one second of the input volume goes below the threshold, we will still have some compression going on. Uh, that's the best way I can explain it. It's kind of it's kind of hard to visualize, but basically you can see this uh, attack and release um, volume or properties based on the threshold level. So let's say that the threshold is minus thirty. Everything that goes above minus thirty the attack will have an impact everything that goes below minus 30 is the release that will have an impact and everything that goes above or below uh, uh, let's say above the threshold here the ratio will say how much it will compress so if i want a strong compression i will put more if i want a gentle compression i can put it here and uh, yeah so one, one good thing about compression is that even though if you don't understand compression too much what you can do is just load some presets and here the presets will have some some uh, good things which is like let's say that i want to squash the the vocal or a rap vocal i can select this preset and i see okay so we choose 2 dbs or a ratio of 2 to 1 and kind of a fast attack and a fast release so then i can just play around with the threshold until I find something that I like. Let's say I want a smooth vocal. I can go here. Uh, actually, this was smooth vocal. Let's say uh, a squash, squash, um, squashed uh, rap vocal. And you can see here that the threshold is very high. Attack is really fast and kind of a slow release, meaning that I'm really squashing the vocals. And then I can just play around here with the threshold based on the input volume so you can use really you can really use presets here in in uh, in compressors which i don't recommend too much in um, in eqs but um, in compression is really really cool because you can take this ratio and, and attack and release settings and just play around with the threshold I, I do that a lot actually and this will also help you to have a better understanding of uh, of what it means to uh, what what the the end goal of compression is as we saw here if we wanted to squash the rep the vocal we would do stuff like this if we want a more smooth vocal smooth vocal we will have lower ratio and a, a higher attack and a slower release so it's it's stuff that we can play around with and after you understand the point of the threshold, the ratio, and uh, the volume or the, the input volume going above or below the ratio, and how these these attack and release happen, uh, then you can start to get a better idea of this. This again will take some time. Uh, will take some time to 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 get, but uh, again, this is is just uh, 
it's just experience you have to first understand the basic concepts and then you have to play around with some some uh, some configurations here to make sure that you start to gradually understand better and see some examples that will also help a lot